This is Sam Kennedy with VCU Technology Services, and today we're speaking with Sheila Chandler, who is our, I guess, manager of learning systems, right? And we're going to talk about Blackboard. Um, we just recently have had a couple of enhancements to Blackboard. Well, recently, part of it was in May. I guess both of them was almost in May, weren't they? The upgrade and the uh, rollout for mobile learn? Mobile, that's right. The upgrade was in May, and the mobile learn was in June. In June, okay. So... Recent upgrades, uh, we're in the new semester, and we thought this would be a good opportunity to, to harass uh, Sheila for a minute and talk about Blackboard and what's new in the uh, application, as well as talk a little bit about the mobile learn application. Am I saying that right? Blackboard mobile learn, right? Yes. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's start off with Blackboard. This is version 9. Correct. We kicked that off in May, just after spring semester, right? So some students and faculty have been using it... Through the summer. the summer for all the summer courses okay so what are what is new what so those students that are coming back from that left in some spring are coming back in the fall what's new or, or different than they might have seen before in blackboard for the students the change is actually minor except for the colors changed right um they have more of a interface that they can move around the modules right but in terms of going into the course they don't see a lot of difference. Right. It's more on the faculty side, which the part of that that relates to the student is if the faculty had buttons in the course that didn't have any content behind it before, mm -hmm. the old version left those buttons up. The new version recognizes there's no content. So the students shouldn't be getting as many buttons with nothing behind them. Right. So that's a plus for the okay. students. So it's kind of a visual cue a it's little a bit visual, there. Yeah. Are there any other enhancements or features for the uh, faculty that are in the new one? That they're, and what are some of the feedback you guys right. are getting Right. Um, the changes for the faculty is, are the most dramatic because it, um, they've, they've streamlined it so there's not as many clicks. Right. In some cases, that makes it a little more complicated because you kind of figure out where the option is. Right. But once you figure it out, it's much quicker to operate. Okay. And the grade center has totally changed in terms of how that operates. For the good. For the good. <laughs> That's the intention anyway, right? Well, change is always difficult. <laughs> Absolutely. You know? So Absolutely. I think once people, the feedback in the focus groups before we upgraded it was people loved it. Okay. The feedback now is if they've had a heads up and have seen it, mm -hmm. they like it. If they come in and they need to do it immediately, Right. Then they're a little nervous. And and the the Center for Teaching Excellence has been running uh, workshops on the the new interface, right? Yes, they ran a lot of intro to Blackboard Nine workshops. And if you go to the Technology Services Knowledge Base, mm -hmm. the Blackboard Nine Knowledge Base um, has been upgraded and has tip sheets, video clips that the CTE, the Center oh. for Teaching Excellence, did. All right. That are little snippets that are very nice. All right. Well, that's exciting. So we got a new application, but that wasn't all that Blackboard did for us this summer, right? Correct. All right. We're going to talk a little bit about Blackboard Mobile Learn, which before we get into the demo of it, um, it's available on the iPhone. Correct. iPod Touch, mm -hmm. iPad. So it's on the I iOS devices from Apple, but it's also available on Blackberry? Blackberry and the Droid. The Droid. Droid. All right. So um, is it just the Blackberry? Uh, not the Blackberry. The Droid, the, the um, Motorola Droid? Or is it going to come out for that HTC Android devices? Or is it pretty much anything that's running Android at this time? I believe it's anything that's running Android. Okay. All right. I mean, the things I've personally tried it on are the Apple devices, the uh, Droid on the Motorola. Right. And... The BlackBerry. Okay. And so the, the whole idea behind it is, is kind of Blackboard in the palm of your hand, right? So that you can access, for the most part, what you need to when you're away from a, a full right. computer. And, and it is done from the student point of view. Mm -hmm. So the faculty member can't go in and upload information okay. in terms of course content. Well, that makes sense, right. Um, it's, it's viewing for the most part, except there are a couple of places, like you can post discussion forum entries okay. from the app. Okay. All right. Well, cool. All right. Well, we're going to take a look at the application, I think, first on the iPad in just a moment. So on this iPad, we've got Blackboard Mobile Learn already kind of loaded up. Right. So you're going to log in and kind of show us a little bit about right. what the application can do. So you'd log in basically with your VCU EID and password. Right. Okay. 
and when it comes up it's showing you courses that you are enrolled in it would also show you any courses that you're teaching or any organizations you're in but for this demo I just had up a class sure okay that this the training student I logged in with is enrolled in cooking 101 so it comes up with the announcements and then if you click on it you basically see the buttons that you would see in the Blackboard interface. So right. I can click back on announcements and see the announcements for the class. I can close that down. The syllabus, if there are documents, this will actually open the Word document. Okay. Um, cool, and, and you can blow that up, you right? You can blow that up, right, right. And then the discussion forum, I think I mentioned earlier, is if you go to it, you can actually post and add a post on the discussion forum. Okay. Now the little windows that are popping up, can you make those bigger than, than what they're popping up? Um, I believe on this. Oh, there we go. So that gives do, you a little more room if you Right. Need. So you got the X to Which is the nice thing about down. the iPads. It gives you some room. It gives so. you some room. That's right. Uh, you can see what groups you're in, external links. Under the tools, I was going to mention that because there's the roster under there. So you can oh, see... Okay who's in the class. And this is popular with students. You can see the grades. Right. Your grades. Um, You're doing well, by the way, in that class. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, That's I, right. I've been using this on my iPad, and, and I have to say this is my favorite way to access Blackboard. I really like it. Like, you know, for technology services, we have reports and stuff that are, are posted to it that all of us in technology services can look at. And I have to say I love looking at it on this screen. It's, right. it's great. It's, it's there. It's, it's easy to navigate. I really like it. It is my favorite way to, to navigate. Right. Anything else to show on the uh, iPad? No, I think that's it at this point. I mean, the things that are not in, I will point out, like the things that aren't in the, um, like this one here, it's got right. an attachment. Mm -hmm. It'll open the attachment, but then there's places where you'll see view in the browser. So right. where it can't open it in the native app, it'll actually go out to the browser and you oh, end okay. up with what looks like the blackboard page and then you can do everything basically you know, here. I've seen that button but I never really pushed that button yeah before. so when you go in the browser if it's hit where the app will go then you end up in the browser and you get the same little when you close it you just go back to oh, the that's app cool. I like that so you get yeah. the same representation you get on the desktop Right. Which some people might like because they're used to it. Right. All right. Well, cool. All right. We're going to take a look at, um, at Mobile Learn on the iPhone. Okay, Sheila. So now we have the, um, I guess, the iPhone version of Mobile Learn up. Um, what's different between this? Obviously, the, the user interface is different because the screen's smaller, you know, versus the, the screen of the, right. the iPad. So, so what else is different? It's basically the the same except that the places where I could enlarge the screen on the iPad you can't do on here. Right. Okay. You're going to even get the browser view on here, but you get a much smaller view, so you have to enlarge it. Right. So be about like if you were just using the Safari browser on the phone. Right. Okay. All right. right. Now um, we we've already logged in, um, and we've got Virginia. This is actually how I guess you get into the the right the when schools you, right. Right. When you first download the app and you open it, it's actually going to ask you to look for the school. So you would type in Virginia Commonwealth, and it'll find Virginia Commonwealth right. University because it has all the schools on here. But if you went to them, you don't have their ID, so you can't get in. Right, right. So if you click on the Virginia Commonwealth University, then what you're going to enter here is your VCU um, EID and password, and I'm just using a training one here. It will also let you remember your EID and password if you like to do that. Right. If, okay, you do, so if you're going to do something like that, though, you really should put a lock on your, your phone, yes, you your should. device. That's right. So somebody's... And mine is locked, actually. Yeah, mine, we kind of bypassed that. The, yeah. Actually, the difference here is when we brought it up on the iPad, it did default to showing the course, like this says courses which you are enrolled. Mm -hmm. But on the uh, right side of the screen, it did... Sh automatically bring up the announcements because right. it had the real estate for it. Right. So here it doesn't. So here I've got to click on the course. Then I click on announcements and I'm going to see the announcements. Okay. So the big difference is the amount of real estate you have. All of the options, what I call buttons in the course, stay right. up on the left-hand side on the iPad, whereas on the iPhone you've got the menu kind of 
right. table right. format. But you get the same syllabus, um, your course documents, you click into them. And they'll open either here as the document or view in the browser. Okay. So that is all very similar. It's just the, um, the difference between the iPad and the iPhone is how much real estate you have right. to show things. The smaller screen, have to make different right. UI choices. Right. Well, thank you, Sheila, for taking time to show us Blackboard 9. I guess talk a little bit about Blackboard 9 and show us mobile learn from Blackboard.